That symbol tells a story. It describes our relationship with God and how this relationship is cultivated and how it transforms us. The centre of the symbol depicts a person worshipping God. Each of the glory rays emanating from the presence of God represented by the orange arc describe our relationship with God. The first glory ray depicts our relationship with God as the one who blesses. As we worship the God who blesses, we are renewed in his likeness and become people who bless others. The second glory ray depicts our relationship with God as the one who speaks. This is why we place such a strong emphasis on the word of God being taught in our services. As we worship the God who speaks to us, we become people who share his word with others. The third glory ray depicts our relationship with God as the one who saves. Without God, we are all lost. We worship the God who reached out to us to save us from our sin and the eternal condemnation it deserves. This is why we continually appeal to people to turn to Christ, to accept God's offer of forgiveness and rescue. Our worship of the God who saves gives us compassion for others. The fourth glory ray depicts our relationship with God as the one who heals. This is why we have a time in our service where we pray for those who are hurting. God's healing power is sometimes received in an instant, sometimes gradually, and sometimes in the timing of God's grace. As we worship the God who heals, we have compassion for those who are not well. The fifth glory ray depicts our relationship with God as the one who delivers. God can set people free from bondages to alcohol, drugs, porn, addictive behaviours. As we worship the God who delivers, we become more patient with those who are in bondage.